You know the feeling. You click an interesting looking link and BAM! Ouch! You're hit with a 404 error. Page not found. Oh. It's often a negative user experience, but it doesn't have to be. 404 pages appear when a user tries to reach a non-existent page on your site. This can either enrage your users, or you can use it as an opportunity to engage them. Well-designed 404 pages help users navigate around what would have been a wall in their website experience and get to the page they need, in turn improving their perception of your brand. Hey folks, Alvin here in Hong Kong and welcome to APAC in 3, where we take 3 minutes to talk about all things digital in Asia. Today's topic, 3 tips to maximize your 404 page and user experience. When visitors click your URL but don't see the content they expect, most feel frustrated particularly when the 404 page doesn't communicate the error in human terms. This is Google's original default 404 page. What? It's bland, shoves technical jargon at you, and leaves potentially frustrated users wanting to exit your site right away. Luckily, they've improved to today's version, but although they've added branding, it's still missing a few key components. A 404 page should explain to visitors why they landed on this error, with messaging that you are trying to help them through this inconvenience. Take this 404 page from Ready to Go Survival, for example. It has direct messaging, triggers a sense of fun with the CTA buttons that reference the first Matrix movie, and is on brand. They sell survival kits after all. It might not even matter to visitors where these buttons lead, just a fun factor could be enough reason to click either, or both. Including a site search bar is a great way to satisfy search intent and prompt visitors to continue their journey deeper into your site. It's also a win-win because you can understand what people are seeking from you and use these insights to optimize the rest of your site. You can also include your primary navigation links and or links to your most visited pages, like we've done on our site. Or give direction through category page links since not all your visitors will know the exact service or product name they're looking for. Like men's denim jacket in light blue wash. Which is easily navigable from the shop men's category link from this site, for example. Providing 4 to 8 links is a sweet spot, offering clear options while not overwhelming your users. Your 404 page is an opportunity to turn that error into a sale or lead. You can provide product recommendations like bestsellers, new releases, and special promotions to spur interest and deeper navigation. This store's layout is clean and shows potential customers what's happening in store right now. What if you're not looking for an immediate sale? You can also generate leads by adding a call to action button or form fill function asking visitors to provide more information. The smart green design of Sprout Social's primary CTA button helps direct attention away from the secondary option of visiting the home page. They also have two other CTAs, sign me up for a newsletter subscription and start your free trial. Ultimately, let your 404 page work for you. Showcase your brand, draw your visitors deeper into your site and conversion funnel, and finally, don't be afraid to have fun while you're at it. Red pill or blue pill? Thanks for tuning in guys. To dig deeper, check out theegg.com slash apacin3.